This is the first parenting essentials in 2022. And I would like to say Happy New Year. I want to believe you had an amazing Christmas and New Year. And just like I said at the end of 2021, that this year is going to be an amazing year. And that is why we are going to start on a great note. Let's get started. At the end of last year, we checked on some of our expectations, the things we were expected to achieve, but we couldn't achieve them. And we pushed some goals forward to 2022. And for us to achieve all these goals, it is very important to start on a good note. And that is why we are ready to start our parenting journey in 2022 on a very good note. It's going to be fantastic. In starting on a very good note, I believe strongly that one of the things that we have to do as parents is to stay positive. In every aspect of our parenting, we need to stay positive. You need to stay positive. Oh yeah, you have to stay positive. Positive in all aspects, even in our speech to our children. We have to ensure that the words that we utter to our children is positive. I've, I've spoken about anger management in the past, so I don't want to go into details into that today. However, please, in achieving every great goal or all the goals that you have on your parenting skills or your children, it is very important for you to stay positive. Most of the time, we see our children as being stubborn, not ready to learn, being adamant, not ready for change. But we often forget the things we need to check and change. So, as we progress in this year 2022, it is important to check those things that we are used to in our parenting skills that is not going to work in this year. One of the things that we do majorly, but you and I today, I'm talking to myself also, is having a tailored approach. See, we are good parents. You are an amazing parent. This method you have used on your first child, probably the second or the third, but because you haven't the fourth one or much more than that, you feel it worked on the other children. It must work on you. Why are you so stubborn? I use this method on your brother, maybe the sister. We cannot continue on a tailored approach. One size fit all. In parenting, it doesn't work. And this brings me back to my common statement that says children are unique in their own ways. So this is from our side. It's from your side as parent. For you to check all the tailored approach that is not going to work for your children in 2022 and say bye-bye let them go another thing that is going to make you achieve a very excellent parenting in 2022 is don't label your children these are things that look so amazing sometimes they sound or look like compliments but we need to check them in depth and see if it's really a compliment or it's a label to the children this might not be a good one it might not necessarily be a good one for example that's the athletic one oh that's the cute one maybe you are talking about your children to a guest or your friend or families you know sometimes it sounds like compliments that's the athletic one that's the cute one that's the you know sometimes that, that's the stubborn one maybe just like me so you really want to polish it so that the child even can accept the negative compliment by saying that is just like you these are things that we want to say bye bye to in 2022 because we want to move ahead don't forget we're talking about the vision we're talking about what we want to achieve in 2022 and how we can improve on our parenting skills another very important thing is to our amazing moms parenting just like we have said before that is for both moms and dads 
But however, if we look in depth into parenting, you will agree with me that the major part of parenting lies on the shoulder of the moms. That is, I'm not being disrespectful right now. I know most of the time you are out, busy at work and things like that. But in a larger percentage, many families that I've seen, I can say boldly that the parenting is mostly like 70 to the moms or most of the time 60. It means in raising those children, moms has a lot of work to do. So in helping our children to grow, it is very important to mind our words. Moms, if you're in charge, take charge. You are an authority. So don't, 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 don't lose. Don't, don't pull down your shoulders. Don't feel, daddy's just going to come and talk to you when he comes. I'm really tired right now. You do, you're not going to listen to me anyways. When daddy comes, wait until your daddy comes. You are telling the child you are not an authority. You are telling your child you cannot correct your child. So these are the things we need to work on this year. We need to check and rephrase our words. These are the things we need to do at the beginning of this year, right now. 365 days is a lot of days. And we want to achieve a whole lot of great things in the life of our children. But if these things are not in place, it's going to be tough to see the end result. So by December, when we are checking our list and trying to see what are the achievement, we should be able to say that these are the things that are in place. And the only reason why we're going to get amazing results is when we put it right or set it right at the beginning of the year. Something very important that we have to also note is not to say, why not be like your sister? Why can't you be like your brother? Your brother got 99% in mathematics. What is wrong with you? Why can't you be like your sister? It is not so good. Or it is not good at all. Sometimes you think, you know, you are just want, you want to help that child to be able to like be encouraged to do more. Let me talk about the sister who is having the 100% mark in mathematics. Maybe the other child is not interested in mathematics. But you're trying your best to put that child in line you got a tutor and everything but you don't know that your words is what is causing the damage that you couldn't even see any results your daughter cannot be like the brother mommy he cannot be like the sister don't forget we've said this over and again that every child is unique why not we cross this out in 2022 you be you and let me be me don't get it wrong i am not saying don't do your part in helping your child to develop in that mathematics i am not saying don't help your child to improve in that phonics but don't let your child be like another because mommy you be you and mommy oye and let me be me just like our parenting skills can never be the same We've said it before and I'm going to say it again. Parenting is personal. Children's personality are totally different. Uniqueness is the key. If we are all the same in this world, I believe this world is going to be a boring place. I'm a little bit funny, I believe. My husband can be a little bit, um, I don't know what to say because he's right there behind the camera. But imagine if both of us are just the same. The house might just be a boring place. So also in our children, in our daily lives. So we should be conscious of this part that the sister cannot be like the brother. Get your pen, cross it out. I'm not going to do this in 2022. Hmm? Oye, don't do that. I won't do it. Don't do it. Let's move on. Say the right word use the right words and we're going to see amazing results another thing that we all say as parents is how many times do you want me to teach you how many times do you want me to give you this instruction how many times do you want me to explain what a question 
<laughs> what a question that we ask our children. Sometimes we are really funny as parents. This is one of the questions that we have to cross out. I've spoken about clear directions. Sometimes the direction is not even clear yet. Sometimes you're teaching your children or your child mathematics, science, geography, whatever it is, and it seems like you're repeating yourself. If your child is clear, you wouldn't have to repeat yourself. Teach your child until you know there is a clear understanding. Until you know that your child has assimilated the instruction you are trying to pass across. So sometimes you get frustrated on these things. And these are the things I want us to take out. How many times do you want me to tell you this? We have practiced and practiced and practiced. Isn't the saying says practice make perfection? How many times do you want to practice? It's your handwriting and you're writing this way. I'm so frustrated. I'm so tired. Super moms. Amazing dads. Lovely caregivers. Sometimes practice doesn't make perfection. It just bring improvement. We might never be perfect. We just need to keep working towards perfection. Whose expectation? The perfection you're looking for. Is it for you or for your child? So let's get started on an amazing note this year. With a strong determination that these things are going to be off our lines, are going to be off our statements, are going to be off in our attitude as we achieve amazing parenting skills this year, 2022. It promises to be a fantastic time on Parenting Essential this year. But I just want us to start on a very soft note. Because there is no reason why we have to talk about things again and again. We keep making the same errors without checking ourselves and starting right on an amazing and a right note. It's going to be fantastic. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe. Because something great, amazing is coming on the way. The second edition of Free Talk with Moms is going to be coming up soon. We're going to be shooting very soon. And I'm bringing amazing moms this time. The last time, if you have not watched, I had amazing and fantastic moms. Please go ahead and search it on our playlist. Watch the Free Talk with Moms. Because the second edition is coming. And I'll be having some live discussions with moms and expectant moms this year. It's not going to be moms only this year. We're going to be bringing on expert and moms to you know let's talk about what you think what you think about you being the mother in future and it's going to be fantastic it's going to be amazing and i said before that we're going to be making more videos on keeping it our lifestyle i believe it's going to be something we're going to do i hope to keep my promise this year that more videos are going to be coming i know it's very challenging sometimes so they did but don't worry we're going to work more this year to bring quality content to your way. Until I come your way next time, if you see my face for the first time, my name is Oye, Oye Lyo, and I am your parenting coach.